Hello friends, and welcome back to Raft. Today we are back to speedrunning. It has been a hot second and I am definitely out of practice. So we're just gonna do some easy runs. I'm not expecting a PB even though my title says I am. I'm really not. Um, we're just gonna go for it. Enemy spotted. There he is. I saw him off to the side earlier, but I was wondering where he went. That's where he went. He was on a vacation. Also, fun fact, when you load in your world, items can and will spawn in behind you. So especially if you're running an easy, it's worth turning around and checking behind you. Because if you're oblivious like I am, you often miss some good stuff just by not paying attention. There he comes. Can I dodge him? Yes. Yes, I can. Because I am a god gamer. Um, just ignore that. Everything's fine. Crates and barrels are the most valuable because they contain a ton of extra resources that we would not otherwise get. Ooh, can I do it again? Haha! -ha. Get out, play, Jeremiah. Oh, we already have enough for an anchor. That's pretty good. If we get good island, it means we can just anchor ourselves immediately and not have to forge for stones first, which always saves a bit of time. Yeah, I think that's good island. So we should be relatively good to go. Now we play how well do I remember my numbers. I'm so out of practice. So... Uh, 14 copper, 7 metal, 7 seaweed, 26 sand and clay. It's like 12 years old. Ooh. Yeah, that's not desirable, shall we say. I'm gonna die before I can get this one. That's fine. And now we remove our anchor because we've got all of our dry bricks. I know Jeremiah is again gonna attack very soon because I haven't been here for a hot second. We need a research table. Did I make one? No, I just selected it. That is our two smelters. I'm gonna make a build hammer first and repair this first because I've had too many incidents where things have gone wrong. So we've got smelter, smelter, that is time one. That's, a, that's not too bad. That's pretty darn good. I'm proud of us. We're making progress. I need a heck ton of scrap. Um, and I also need to be smelting down my copper immediately. My other phone broke. I have no choice but to use that one. Yeah, I remember that. It is not good, is what I would say about that. And then my build hammer. Oh, I am completely out of wood. Okay, back to resource harvesting. I don't know why I have beets and potatoes in my inventory, but I do. And we're just not going to question that. Oh no, I died. Whatever will- Oh no. Seriously? This again? You were supposed to be attacking me and not my raft. How does this- is it always that one? <sighs> okay, well, we go again. Okay, we got this. I believe in us. I think we got one of the acceptable islands. I can't- We'll try and make it work. We'll give it a shot. I think this is Deep Island, as I like to call it. I have my own little nicknames for all of the islands that helps me keep them straight in my head. And with any luck, this last barrel will contain two stones. That's very unlikely to happen. But if it does, it contained one. So if I get one more stone, we can actually anchor this, which would be desirable. I need a singular stone, please. Are there actually no rocks? Please tell me there is at least one rock somewhere on this island. So we're just going to do this in kind of the island hopping manner, even though this is an island I would technically like to anchor on. I'm going to craft that extra hook now, because I will need it. Because we're going to try and do this as efficiently as possible then. If I can't get my hands on another rock to make the anchor that I want. You want smelter first, other resources next. Although it doesn't make too much of a difference because we are just kind of confined by island despawn time. How is Jeremiah still here? He should have followed the raft. 
that's unlucky, to say the least. Okay, he's going back to aggro on the raft. So the way Jeremiah works is that he always defaults to aggroing on the raft. Which is meant to say that if you're more than 30 meters away from the raft, he shouldn't aggro on you. But in that instance, he did for some reason. And that was confusing to me. But it's fine. We're still alive. We're thriving. We're still here. This island does contain enough sand and clay for the full 26 required to make both smelters right away. So we're gonna try and do that. Gonna grab that really fast. Ooh, that's actually a pretty darn good crate. That's lucky. A bolt and a hinge is definitely not bad. So maybe we can salvage this. I'm hopeful we didn't have the best start. But if we can get lucky, I want at least 14 sand and clay again, because that way, if nothing else, I can make the first smelter. And hopefully grab enough resources for the second along the way. Okay, we definitely have enough to make our first smelter, which is good. Because that way, if nothing else, we won't be too far behind. We're still definitely going to be behind, don't get me wrong. But... Again, I'm just going to go for this run all the way through, regardless of what happens. We're here for practice. There it goes. Okay. We need to make a spear. We use this time while we're dying to make everything that we are going to need in the short term. Oh, we are going to go for this island. Of course I get good island on my second island and not on the first island. The good news is it will have all of the copper we need. It means we just gotta go fast in our harvesting. We got enough for an anchor, actually. So if I go over there, I'm gonna make an anchor and anchor my raft here. And I'm gonna set my wet bricks to dry. This is kind of a weird methodology for doing this. But hey, if it works, it works, you know? So we might end up with a slower smelter split, but I think it'll actually be faster in the long run if we get lucky. There we go. Two extra clay, and then I'll just use the rest of this breath to gather some extra scrap. So that as soon as we respawn on the raft, we'll be good to go. I can make the additional smelter that I need. Because again, this will require drying time, which I can't speed up, so we're just going to use the extra time we have to gather the rest of the copper and as much scrap as we possibly can while these dry. Come on, there's more scrap over here that I'm working towards. Because the scrap actually, believe it or not, will make a difference. Sometimes you need a lot more scrap than you think you do, so let's craft our wet bricks really fast. And here he comes to attack. Oh, shockingly, he did not. We're gonna go use, ow, the rest of our time. We're gonna make one more hook. We're gonna go gather the rest of the copper that we missed earlier. We're gonna gather these melons because we'll need them towards the end of the run. And we're just here for copper and scrap at this point. I'm gonna gather these for scrap and then we're gonna work back to our good death work back to our raft because I think our other dry bricks should be just about ready to go. And there we go. I need to keep this in my hot bar so I can keep it smelting. Craft the second smelter, put that down, and there we go. Uh, lift the anchor, and on we go. So we are officially live, we are running. Research all of this stuff. Learn all that. And now we're to the point where I just need to work on harvesting a ton of plastic and wood.
Now I just need my three hinges and my one- or my three bolts and my one hinge and we'll be good to go. I've got my inventory full of plastic and planks and ropes, so we should be good to go on that front. Um, how am I doing on scrap? I'm one short. Okay. I need one barrel that contains one scrap. Come here, barrel. <laughs> it's time. Nope. Okay. I need one scrap. Come on. You know what? Screw it. We're gonna paddle towards this island as fast as I can get. And I'm gonna dive for that one scrap. Okay, I'm coming over here because I know there's scrap over here. I lied, there's no scrap over here, but there is a crate. Sometimes crates contain scrap. Where's this freaking scrap? Where's the freaking scrap? Oh my goodness. Don't tell me there's no scrap. If there's no scrap, I'll be very angry. Because we were doing so well. Don't tell me. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I'm so disappointed. I was actually on, like, a good pace. And there's no- not a single scrap. I literally need one. And I couldn't get that one piece of scrap that I needed. Literally not a si- I need one more. I'm one piece of scrap. <sighs> I'm a little angry, not gonna lie. A little upset right now. I know, I... I've been working on memorizing the layouts of the islands I actually use regularly. Okay, they're not too close. That was the main concern. Meaning I freaking need a barrel or something, but there's not even any trash in the, in the ocean right now. You'd better have a piece of scrap barrel. We're, we're in the tense part. Are you kidding me? Oh my goodness. I'm going to go insane. I hope you know this. How can I be one literal piece of scrap short of finishing the entire thing? This is all I need. There's an island over there. We're gonna start angling for that. Just, just in case. Yes, okay. This way. Okay, we did it, we did it. Let's go. Again, in case you haven't seen Raft Speed running before, this is legitimately what the last about five to ten minutes of the run are. Um, you just paddle for the radio tower and you hope for the best, and it goes a lot faster if the wind is in your favor. L ratio, you get no lantern switch suspens. I'm sorry, but I absolutely do not have the scrap to make a lantern this run. I was going to. I really was. I thought I was going to have just enough. But I didn't get a single scrap from a barrel. If we come across barrels on the way and they happen to contain scrap, I am happy to make lanterns. I'm going to see if I can get this barrel. Well, good luck. Oh, there's two scrap. If I get one more, I can make you a lantern, as promised. Okay, you know what? We're here. Um... There you go. <laughs> for you guys. I made a lantern for you. I don't know if you noticed. But there is a lantern. And it is for you. And the rest of Lantern Gang. Don't think I'm excluding it. That's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to rotate it. I noticed and I'm proud. Good. Because I worked hard. I worked really hard to get a lantern for you. It's for us. It is. It's for everyone who believed in me through my singular- There it is. 
There it is. <laughs> Oh, come on. Why do the wave cycles have to be bad? Ah, my radio tower is not clean. Oof. Oof. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that was not clean. Let's see if I can get it. Ooh. Hell yeah. I don't think I can get the second jump here, so we're just not going to go for it. Sad. <laughs> I was legitimately so close to my actual PB. We did it. Like, we got a full run in today, and I'm proud of that. Don't get me wrong. But that one piece of scrap. Ah! <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching. Thank you all stop for stopping by. I really appreciate you being here. Thanks for just hanging around and having fun. I hope to see you all sometime soon. So, again, thank you, and have a great day.